December 1865 brought America its first peacetime Christmas in four years. For most Southerners, it would prove to be a grim holiday. The war had destroyed much of their industry, cities, and farms. In Richmond, it was learned that federal troops in the city would soon discontinue distributing army rations to residents. Many Southern businessmen were now scouring northern cities, looking for investors in next year's cotton crop. Just who would harvest that cotton was still uncertain. The black Americans, who'd always done the work, were now free to leave the plantation. Unsure of their future, many drifted into the cities looking for something better. The Emancipation Proclamation of 1863 had freed the enslaved people, but only in the Confederate States. Now, the 13th Amendment, which took effect on the 18th, banished slavery from the United States. The leaders of the defeated Confederacy faced an uncertain future. Many took the government's loyalty oath and obtained amnesty from President Johnson. Some returned home, ran for election, and became leaders of the New South. Other Confederates refused to reconcile with the federal government. They emigrated to Mexico, where they were welcomed by the new French government, which had recently overthrown the Mexican Republic. The New York Herald reported French soldiers were now itching to cross the Rio Grande and take on the hated Americans. Still other Southerners sought a new start in the open country of the West. Most of its former residents were being put on reservations. Federal soldiers were ordered to watch over the tribes and keep order. They found the job easier than they expected. They told a New York reporter all the Native Americans wanted was justice, protection from abuse, honest agents, and army officers who'd keep faith with them. This Christmas, nearly 500,000 families of Union and Confederate soldiers were coping with the absence of fathers and brothers who never returned from the war. But for the soldiers who came back, this was the Christmas they looked forward to through the years of grim battles and horrible conditions. Now they had the joy of being reunited with family and the added pleasure of a Christmas that comes at the end of hard times, when days of sorrow and loss have passed and a brighter future awaits. This video was brought to you by the Saturday Evening Post Digital Archives. Saturday Evening Post members can explore our 200-year-old archive and receive six issues of the Post Print Edition for only $15 a year.